So hey guys, this is Kenesha back in Beijing. This is my first video since I've been back. I have been, I checked out. I checked out, um, I didn't mean to check out. <laughs> I, it took me some time to kind of get readjusted mentally and emotionally. My sleep was strange. It was, it was like I would fall asleep at 8 p.m. and wake up at 2 and 3 in the morning. I guess that's typical jet lag. But either way, I wanted to come on today to get back out there, to get back connected with you all, but to also share with you guys um, uh, my aha moment, my moment of revelation, with hopes that my sharing what, I, what I've been through these few weeks and the awareness that I've been brought into you will help you in your own life. So I've been back. China is... China is China, but it is where Very Thoughtful thrives. And so I've been busy. I've been planning. Got a couple of workshops coming up. Got a workshop this week. Um, back to coaching. Um, more appointments. Is I've just been going. And literally, it just feels like I've been running, running, running. Um, and I'm happy about that. But what I my aha moment came yesterday because in promoting my events... Um, one of the magazines here, a pretty major um, expat magazine, contact me to do an interview. And that's the thing about this is this is something I kind of always wanted. And, of course, who doesn't want their name and their brand out into the universe where it's not all me. I'm the only person who's pushing it and pumping it out. So, But what I noticed after I um, finished talking to the gentleman at the magazine was I, there was no excitement and that that kind of jolted me where God Holy Spirit said yo what's going on with you you need to check in so when I was checking in God revealed to me that um, my soul wound had been reopened or I was actually and I don't know if they ever really closed but I was operating from it. So it's one thing to have the soul wound. If you guys are like, Kenesha, what's the soul wound? Go back and watch my old videos. I'm not going to teach on it tonight. Um, but so it's one thing to have the soul wound, to be aware of it. But it's another thing to make life decisions from it. And what was happening for me is that I was moving. I've been, even in my hustle, of working a lot, I've been working from my soul wound. My soul wound is rejection. Rejection tells me that I am not enough and that I have to work hard to prove my worth. And since I've been going so hard and, and just going, 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 um, in that moment, not taking the time to celebrate that this amazing, amazing milestone was happening. One of the things that I've been praying for, asking for, certainly for me, it's a a pebble. I call it like when God gives me these little moments of grace to let me know that, hey, girl, you're on your path. You're going in the right direction. Yesterday was a pebble for me, and I was missing it. I was just like, oh, well, okay, it's, an, it's another thing to do. Let me let me send the guy this information for these questions. I wasn't, I didn't engage. I didn't get excited. There was no passion. That's scary because when you're doing what you love and there's no passion, something is really wrong. So that was why God like shook me and said, you got to wake up because something, you know, you're disconnected and you're operating from fear and not love. And so I was operating from the fear spirit of rejection because my in my deep in the deepest part of me operating from that place what I was telling myself somewhat unconsciously but I have been kind of hearing a little bit of it was what if it doesn't work what if it doesn't work what if it doesn't work okay yeah I got the magazine but then what's next um are people gonna come to the workshop like even though I already have like <laughs> The two workshops that's happening, I can we can only take about 20 people, and both of them are at 50%. And they are in September, and it's October. So, like, the, that's what I'm talking about, and this is what I teach, how you have to pay attention to your thoughts. Because fear um, lies to us and tell us these, floods us with thoughts that aren't true. 
So that's where I that's where I was, but that's where I've been operating from. So are you operating from your soul wound? Are you making decisions and moving through life? And are you hustling for your worth? Because your wound is open and you're unaware of it. So I'm thankful to God that he brought me into presence. He shook my shoulders and said, you better wake up because you're on a dangerous path. You're moving too hard in life um, and not enjoying the process. I was too busy, so focused on the next thing, the next thing, trying to get to this goal. What's the goal? To be a world-renowned speaker, to be sought after, to, you know, um, that money flows to me easily, to be paid well for what I do. Well, it's happening. I'm in the process of it, but I was missing it. I, literally, since I've been back in China, I've been missing it. Um, not in, not enjoying the money, not in enjoying the meetings that I'm having because I'm so busy in that meeting trying to learn something to get to the next thing. So the interview opportunity, God used it to shake me awake. And so I hope you guys use this video. If you're listening, if you're watching this video and you're about your hustle and you're trying to get something out and maybe your hustle is in your relationship with your husband or your kids and you're trying to like be the the best mom possible. And so you're hustling to prove to your kids something or you're hustling to prove to your husband something or you're on your job and you're hustling to prove yourself to your boss. Don't miss the moment because that's what I've been doing. And so I encourage you to take time, slow down, connect to God um, so that you can then connect to yourself. What does it look like to be disconnected, to be disengaged with who you are and to be operating from your soul? Again, you're doing it for the wrong reason. So everything about Very Thoughtful and really and truly, everything I do is to help women heal. That's the heart of what I do. But when I start focusing and shifting it into the hustle of the next big thing and the next great thing and hustling to make myself popular or make myself known, the focus of what Very Thoughtful is supposed to be has shifted. And that's a dangerous place for me personally to live in. So that was one of the awakenings that had to happen. Um, the other thing you do when you're operating from your soul wound and you are disconnected from the soul of who you are is you make decisions um, that do not lead you towards your goal or, or that causes problems in your relationships or make you feel dis disconnected, disengaged with those that you should be connected with. So um, my my confession is I've been, God bless, God bless. <laughs> I've been engaged with Andre. That's been good. We, we're good. But I haven't been engaged with the kids. Um, I've just been serving them. Okay, what do you need next? So what do you, what I got to get for you? Let me make sure you got it and move it. Let's move on it's because I got to get back to work. That I'm operating from a soul wound. I'm not. I'm operating from fear and not love because fear creates connection. I'm sorry. Love creates connection. Fear creates disconnection. And I've been disconnected from myself and from my children because my rejection soul wound had been open and exposed during my time in America. And when I got back to China, I didn't take time to tend to it to nur to. Just like, you know, if, if I would have broke my heart, broke my arm, I would go to a doctor and have them see it. I should have sat with God and reconnected um, that area. Like So I pray, of course, I'm reading scripture, of course, but I hadn't bought this particular area. Taking it from my heart, from my mind and say, here, God, this is yours. Um, this wound has been reestablished, reopened. Will you heal it? Will you help me nourish it? I've just been doing my own rat race of a run. Trying to avoid it, but not dealing with it. So I want you guys, if you're watching this video, I want you, the lessons I want you to get from it is I want you to get re-engaged with who you are. I want you to slow down. Enjoy the journey. Um, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish or that you hope to accomplish, 
whether it's to be married because you're single, to um, raise amazing kids, to get that new job, to land the new promotion, to start the business, whatever the thing is that you're chasing, I ask that you slow down um, and be present and enjoy the process, even the hard part, enjoy the process so that you don't miss it because we don't get to do this again. So if you guys are interested, go to, I think it's BeijingKids.com. You can Google it and check out the article they did on me. If you're not, it's okay. Um, but I'm, ex I'm finally excited about it. <laughs> and um, if you just want to stay connected, I plan to get better about posting videos more frequently. So this is Kanisha with a very thoughtful moment with BarryThoughtfulLife.com. Have a great night or a great day, depending on where you are. Love you much. Bye-bye.